Hey everybody, my name is Kyle Brack and I'm the IPT project leader and today I'd like to show you how to install the IPT. Before I begin, I'd like to show you the IPT website first. The address is www.gbif.org slash IPT and from here you can find all the information that you need about the IPT and on the right hand side here you'll see some quick links to resources like the user manual and the mailing list. If you've got problems with IPT, remember the answers are not far away. Just contact the mailing list for the fastest answer possible. Uh, as for all the instructions on how to install the IPT, all that's available on the user manual. Just check out the Getting Started Guide here. You'll find the requirements for setting up your server, including some really detailed installation instructions for the Tomcat server container. Alright, so for this demonstration I'm going to be using my own uh, laptop MacBook Pro and I've already installed Tomcat 7 so basically I'm ready to go with this installation. The first thing I have to do is download the software itself. So if I go back to the IPT website, I can download the latest version from here. The software ships as a WAR file, and you can tell which version uh, I've downloaded uh, in the name here. Now it's uh, really recommended that you always rename your WAR file to just ipt.war for deploying to your server container, which will make upgrades to later versions really easy. Now, to deploy my, my WAR file to my Tomcat, I'm going to use the Tomcat Manager. All I have to do here is select the WAR file and deploy it. And if that was successful, then my IPT has been deployed and is now ready uh, to continue setting up. So, the, what you're looking at here is the very first setup page for the IPT, and it's at this page where you'll enter in an empty directory where you'll be storing, where the IPT stores all of its configuration information and resource data. This directory has to be writable by Tomcat. So if you put in something like root, which isn't writable by Tomcat, then you're going to get an error. It's also advisable not to use something like temp, which gets rewritten on every single system restart. And it's advisable that you choose somewhere uh, with enough space if you have a lot of resources that you're going to be publishing. And lastly, make sure that whatever you do choose, that you uh, back up regularly so that you protect yourself against loss of data. So I'll choose that. On the second setup page, you've got to enter, into, enter in information about the default administrator. You've got to choose which mode the IPT runs in, and you've got to specify what the base URL is for this IPT. So that's the, uh, the URL to the root of your IPT installation. So I'll just start by entering in information about the default admin. Next, the IPT mode. When setting up the IPT, this is probably the most common mistake that people have, is that they install it in test mode, expecting it to be in, in production. Now, if you want to publish your resources publicly, then you should choose production mode. Otherwise, if you're just testing out the IPT, um, just kind of giving it a test run, 
then you should choose test mode. If you choose test mode, GPIF will not be able to index your resources since they aren't publicly available. Um, and a uh, strong word of caution, whichever mode you choose, once you proceed past this point, you're not actually going to be able to switch. You have to do a completely fresh install by undeploying the, uh, the WAR file and redeploying it again. So you can see here that it's automatically detected the base URL for my installation. And it also gives me the, uh, the chance to specify a proxy URL if uh, my server was connecting to the internet through a proxy, then I could specify it there. Um, additionally, if you are running in production, then you can't choose localhost since uh, any resources available at localhost won't be publicly available. So try to choose something um, that's, that's stable. Maybe choose a nice, uh, a nice virtual host name for your IPT. And yeah, just make sure that it doesn't change uh, too often. And that's basically it. So you can see here that my localhost URL is not a valid um, base URL in production mode. So what I could do to get around that is use my IP address. Or I could just continue on using test mode. And that's basically it. So that was pretty simple, wasn't it? Anyways, thanks for your attention, and uh, I hope you enjoy using the IPT. And should you encounter any problems, remember, use the mailing list. Cheers.